kind of see how Nintendo is trying to advertise this game to uh, probably newer players because I feel like a lot of the people that, that played it before will end up purchasing it. So let's check it out. Eons ago, a great clash took place between the two titans, the Bionis and the Mechonis, ending in their mutual demise. Their bodies solidified into land masses, serving as the environments that Shulk and his companions explore in the present day. Let us take a glimpse into each of these sprawling regions. Located Colony at the Nine, the baby. Bionis, Colony Nine is where it all begins. Sentient homes. It is Shulk's birthplace, as well as where he and his childhood friends, Rhine and Fiora, reside. Wild creatures Super roam peaceful about there. and are docile and less attacked. So, outside of a few savage beasts, this area is largely peaceful. These stronger enemies can be engaged should the need for a challenge arise. Staying on the beaten path will practically guarantee safety, but wander off too far, and some may find themselves facing total oblivion. This oh vast man, makes up the that thing the with a lush atmosphere and its iconic overhanging cliffs. Gower Plain is home to a myriad of secrets to uncover. The hidden tribe of the Turkin make their home here. Yo, the Turkin refugees from the now devastated Colony Six. On Gower Plain, staying on the Let's beach of the may not ensure complete safety, as plenty of aggressive high-level monsters roam about. Yo. But when it comes to packs of monsters, oh, I love the it. herd mentality is in play. Yeah, attack, attack one, man. One, and those in proximity will retaliate. With uncharted caverns and tunnels, in-depth side quests, and dangers far and near, Gower Plain is where the adventure begins to truly open up for those who wish to explore. Magna Forest is a scenic woodland on the Bionis's back, and the home of the Norpon, guardians yeah. of a mysterious portal. It is comprised of a deep jungle and perilous ravines that can set oh back travelers my goodness, dude. to their recesses. Majestic ruins, <laughs> along with pools of magical ether deposits available for harvest. Yo, we got <laughs> we got a resub while I'm anniversary while I'm recording this. Exploring, you may come across <laughs> smaller enemies in command of their larger brethren, sneaking past these menacing creatures. Shout out to Darth Vash. <laughs> So tread lightly and carefully. The idyllic and utopian Erith Sea, perched atop the yeah. Bionis, is home the, to, to the high Entia, man. Most technologically advanced civilization on the Bionis. They got the tech. Notable landmarks include Alkamoth, the futuristic floating city, and Prison Island, which contains a dark secret related to the Monado. Keen observers will notice that the Erith Sea is the first location where floating islands appear. But how and why do they stay afloat? The topography of the Aerith Sea is composed of these islands, as well as exquisite sandy shores. Transporters can be utilized to navigate. It looks so this good, man. Paradise. So everything looks so much nicer which now. Transporter takes you to which island to get around more easily. This Yo, sword, the very gotta cross the sword. The now functions as a bridge. It can be crossed to travel between oh the two boy. titans, and is the only yeah, take way those to gates reach down. the Mechonis, yeah. currently overrun with the terrorizing Mechon. The winding maze of Sword Valley can easily disorient travelers if they do not mind their surroundings. Control towers must be accessed to open gates, which are essential for progression. This Man, is where Shulk's war with the Mechon truly begins, culminating in a showdown with his greatest adversaries. There are more areas to explore outside and inside the Bionis and the Maconis. And for the first time, the Bionis' shoulder is within reach at yes. last. Venture into this unknown region and unravel the mystery behind a strange new enemy. Oh, man. Blade Chronicles, definitive edition. Not long. Like, literally not long from now. Like, I hope you guys will check it out. I'm so pumped. I'm so pumped, man. <laughs> 